Welcome back to MPT. In this video, I provide knowledge that's truly vital to phased arrays, namely digital and analog beamforming. And if you listen to the end, I'll give you a valuable summary. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. First, let me describe to you what a phased array is. A phased array is this amazing system that allows the user to point an antenna beam at a particular target and steer that antenna beam electronically. You know, it used to be that, that you can only steer and create antenna beams using things like dish antennas. You know, think of the direct TV antenna that's on the top of you know, most people's homes that have uh, satellite TV broadcasts. That thing is fixed in position, it has one antenna beam. And if you wanted to steer that thing, you'd have to go and sit up on your roof and you have to move the thing physically. And in fact, uh, that's what some systems do. They have these large reflector antennas and they move mechanically. You can only imagine the issues with that. One, you know, mechanical failure. The other is the time that it takes for these antennas to move from one position to the other. And when those mechanical antennas move and, and, and try to stop, they vibrate a little bit and you have to, you have to wait till the vibrations die down. Um, so there are issues with those mechanical, mechanically scanned antennas. That's why phased arrays are so useful. And uh, like I said, there are two main ways to realize these, these phased arrays. One is called analog beam forming, and the other is called digital beam forming. And I'm going to talk about three benefits of analog, three benefits of digital. So let's start with analog beam forming. Well, analog beam forming is when you have an, an, an array of antenna elements, and behind each antenna element, you have a thing called a transmit receive module. And inside of that transmit receive module, there's all kinds of electronics like high power amplifiers that amplify the signal so you can transmit to, let's say, to the satellite you're communicating with or to, to the target if this is a radar application and a low noise amplifier so you can receive those very weak signals from the satellite or the very weak signals coming off of a target. But these uh, TR modules contain this other special component called a phase shifter. And the phase shifter or a delay line actually allows you to steer your antenna beam electronically. So you don't have to now move an antenna mechanically. You can then steer your beam electronically, which you can imagine the benefit of that because you can steer from one position to another position in fractions of a second, in milliseconds or in microseconds. You can go from one position to another and you can uh, you can go from, uh, instead of just moving linearly, you can move in a circle, you move your antenna beam in a circle and other types of things that are useful. So that's, that's why phased arrays, or at least one of the reasons that phased arrays are beneficial, is that you can steer your antenna beam and you don't have those drawbacks of mechanical uh, beam steering. So now that you have an idea of what a phased array is, let's talk about analog beam steering phased arrays. Analog beam steering phased arrays uh, operate by having that, that phase shifter inside that TR module, inside uh, behind every element in the array. So that analog phase shifter provides that beam steering capability. The analog beam steering array has, has basically the antenna element, the transmit receive modules and this power combining network behind it. And conceptually, that's the, the essence of an analog beam steering array. You know, so what are the benefits? One of them is simplicity. So it, it's it's a really simple concept. You have antenna, well, you know, relatively speaking, it's a simple concept. You have antenna elements, you have these phase shifters behind every single element in the array, and you have power combining networks behind the, the array. And, uh, and so it's something that's easy for your team to grasp conceptually, which means that they can understand why they're, what they're doing in relation to the bigger picture. Another benefit of analog beam steering arrays is that the digitizing that occurs, the analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion that happens, it happens uh, remotely uh, and centralized. It's not distributed in the array. Instead, there's, there's a separate box that, that's some distance away from the face of the array that contains one or more, you know, maybe as many as 10 or 20 digitizing channels that, uh, that convert the analog signal into digital uh, signals so that they can be processed by the rest of the system. And so that centralized digital processing is a benefit because now you can optimize 
your, uh, your digital processing because you have the room and probably the heat transfer capabilities uh, because you're, you've got a larger area for your digital processing that can occur there on your digital to analog and analog to digital converting. So that, that second benefit is the centralized digital processing. The third benefit is lower power. Why are analog beam steered face arrays lower power? They're lower power because they don't have to have as much electronics at every single element. Um, and the face shifters are generally low power elements. Uh, sure, you've got high power amplifiers and low power amplifiers, but that part is the, is the same between analog and digital beamforming. Uh, but, but the part that is different is that phase shifter, which is low power in the analog uh, beam steering array. So there you've got the three, three benefits of analog beam steering. The fact that it's simple conceptually, the fact that it has a centralized digitization system, and the third is that it has lower power because of that uh, there aren't and there's a digitization that's happening every element in the array. Now I'd like to talk about the three benefits of digital beamforming. But first we need to talk about what digital beamforming really is. Digital beamformed arrays are antenna arrays that have behind every element in the array analog to digital and digital to analog converters. So in other words, if you have a four by four array with 16 elements, you're going to have 16 analog to digital and digital to analog converters, one behind each element in that array. The benefit is that you can form, and this is this benefit number one, you can form multiple simultaneous antenna beams with a digital beam formed array. And, uh, and that's a big benefit. Let's say you want to track three LEO satellites, a uh, geostationary satellite, and uh, a UAV, and communicate with with all of those at the same time. With the digital beam forming array, you can do that and have a beam dedicated to each one of those. Or let's say you have a radar that has digital beam forming. You can have an antenna beam that's uh, on a target that's a ship, let's say, uh, a target that's uh, in space, a target that's a UAV, and then three other aircraft. And, and you can have many more targets than, than, than just those that I mentioned with digital beam forming. So you see there are applications both in communication systems and in radar with digital beamforming. The second benefit of digital beamforming is that you can have super resolution. What that means is that instead of having a limit of maybe a five or six bit phase shifter like the analog beamforming array does, with digital beamforming you can have resolution of phase down to tenths of a degree. Whereas in an analog beam forming array, maybe you have a resolution down to five degrees or maybe two and a half degrees. Uh, but with the, with the digital beam forming, you can have tenths of a degree resolution on your phase control at every single element. Um, and that means that you can have beam positions that are very high accuracy. Um, this super resolution is a benefit when you're trying to track a target or you're trying to acquire a target, for instance. Another benefit of digital beam forming is that you can form a uh, very high resolution on your nulls. Antenna patterns have nulls where the signal level drops and those nulls are often very high Q, which means you have to adjust your phase with very high accuracy in order to really position the nulls and the positions that you need to. And with digital beamforming, you can control the amplitude of your signals, your signal at every single element and the phase of your signal at every single element with very high resolution, which means you can do fine adjustments on those nulls and let's say null out an interfering signal, uh, which is a big benefit in communication systems and also in radar. Let's say you have a jammer and you want to null out that jammer, you know, you can use your null to do some, some anti-jam. And so those three benefits for uh, digital beamforming are important. The fact that you can have multiple simultaneous beams, the fact that you can have super resolution, and the fact that you can actually tune your nulls with high accuracy are three important benefits of a digital beamform. If this video was useful, then check out our white paper linked below. In it, I cover information I wasn't able to mention in the video. This is information that's critical for anyone considering a phased array. Also remember, if you're looking into phased arrays, consider us. We'll help you get your product to market faster. Until next time, this is Rick Sturdivant with MPT.